All right, we're going to quickly go through adding a Google font to an existing Tailwind CSS project. So yes, I have an existing project right here. And if I run it, yarn start, it's going to open in that browser right there. And it has Tailwind configured already, as do you. If not, go back to an earlier video, if I have one, about setting it up. I think I only have one for Drupal, so... Uh, let me know if you need help with that. Anyway, this is the site. I already have a couple Google um, fonts in here. I recorded it earlier, made a video, posted it, and some guy gave me the helpful, although kind of passive aggressive sounding tip that uh, the quality sucked, the resolution was wrong. Thank you anyway. So let's do it. I have Enter and Golos already in there. I'm looking at Roboto, which I don't want to use. Um, let's pick a font that's cursive or something so we can easily see it. Uh, I don't know. Or something like this. Tilt Prism. All right, we'll try this. Okay, okay, okay. How do we do that? Scroll down. I always forget. Okay, there's only one style regular 400 that's good for us so i clicked it select regular 400 if it doesn't open anywhere for you it's up here in view <coughs> selected families excuse me okay so i clicked view selected families and i already have roboto selected in here and we don't want that so let's get rid of it remove all yep Tilt Prism is there, selected, regular 400. Use on the web to embed a font. Copy the code into the head of your HTML. Uh, we're not using that method. We're using import in, um, sorry, this here is the tailwind.config.css, but we want the index.css, which I have in the source directory, SRC. Okay, looking at this, I hope you can see that still. Um, we have two imports at the top, which correspond. I'll split this Tailwind config down. And if we minimize the colors key, um, if you're not familiar with the Tailwind config, it is simply an export of an array, uh, an object with some arrays and objects inside. The first one tells Tailwind where to find Tailwind styles. The content key um, the theme key has to do with everything theme as you can see i have some colors defined i'm just going to minimize the colors key and so we can see the extend is which is where the font family key is and we have enter and golos um, we are going to add and you can add it anywhere within within the font family it doesn't have to doesn't have to be at the end doesn't have to be at the beginning it can be in the middle um, here we will say, we're going to copy, not copy, we're going to, um, reference over here. I'm skipping a step, sorry. Back up here, we're going to go ahead and import the font. I just copied, to embed a font, copy the code into the head of your HTML. We're not copying it there. We're copying it in our index.css. And if you look closely... That is family equals tilt plus prism. And it doesn't have any weights because it only has one, I guess. And um, that's all we need. That is all we need. We have to reference it here now. Okay. We can call it whatever we want here. Like this would work other, th other than that um, semicolon. And for fun, I guess I'll leave it. And we'll change it in a minute. All right, we still need to tell it what the actual font name is, which is um, th this, these lines. Like these are equivalent to what you would see in, a, in the CSS itself, as you can see right here. They are, it says CSS rules to specify families. Um, well, we're not specifying it as a CSS rule, we're specifying it as a Tailwind config. So let's copy the whole line, ex excluding that semicolon over there. We're going to paste it in 
it's going to be wrong because as you can see cursive needs um, quotes around it and tilt prism was already quoted so that's good and something is still wrong we do not have an opening um square bracket there we go so our new font tilt prism keyed to this um, random string is the actual name of the font um, as far as Tailwind is concerned. It will replace that with the Tilt Prism. So let's try it. I, I will save this in next.css. The Tailwind config is saved. Uh, we need the home page. I don't remember where it is. Control P. <coughs> I guess maybe we need, no, not the new domains. We do need the home. We're going to open home. And make it a little bigger. New domains. I'm just going to change this new domains um, H2 to our new font. And hopefully it works. So right now it's set to font enter. We will call it font dash and paste in that crazy string. And there you go. It changed. And we have successfully, excuse me very much, but no way I'm going to re-record that whole thing. Um, we have it keyed to that crazy string. Let's fix that. We're going to make it an actual name. <coughs> we'll call it Tilt. <coughs> Keep it short. It's not going to work. And then we're going to go to the config and change it to Tilt here. Save, and then it's going to work. And that's that. Pretty simple, right? Um, hit me up if you need any help want any other videos any kind of questions comments um again thank you to the dude who pointed out the last video was unusable um i definitely want these videos to be viewable and usable otherwise what's the point so keep it up thank you